What's up guys, Brolicon, I'm back. Saturday. Uh, funny thing this morning, I woke up so early. I just woke up early and I left the house literally like 6.45. Then I turned back and forgot something. So at 7, it's still dark. I left the house. Uh, did a vid this morning of my adventure, but there was nothing. It would have been just boring for you. Truth, truth be told, bed, bed, bedhead, you know, I'm watching your videos, man, you get great advice. These garage sales are random. Yes. I don't know, it's luck, but it's just random. You cannot plan for them. You know, you see one garage sale like on Craigslist, it's say toys, video games. Start at 7, no early bird, you get there, and the video games are like... Like hand, like kids plug and plays. The toys are girls Barbie dolls. But then when you're driving down the road, you see a sign that says yard is for sale, and your gut says go, and you find something. So it's random. I wish, really wish I had an extra couple extra bucks because one lady had a nice set with her game cube. She had speakers that go with the game cube, but I didn't have the money on me. I, she says she doesn't know if they work either, so if that's the case, I'd pass. I don't want to waste money on something that might work. But we get down to it. Okay, first, I went to Goodwill. I probably might show the video before this or after. Is that Goodwill? Not in that sense. Black Bass. Super Nintendo. Also, now in that sense, Killer Instinct, which is funny, a YouTuber said uh, I, sh I should uh, change my name to Dollar Crown or Dolly, Dollar Tron or something to find a lot of dollar stuff, which is, I guess, true. Uh, for 150 and Super Nintendo controller, so that's cool to get that. Now today, garage sailing, saw a few games. Siphon filter, the Omega Strain for two dollars. PlayStation Two. Com it's complete with a manual and the Warriors. PlayStation Two complete. So okay. Went to another Goodwill, which is funny to me. You go to one Good Goodwill, they have prices for games and stuff. You go to another one. Somebody new or somebody who's been working there has their own prices. But for two dollars, Rampage the NES. And for two dollars this Pac-Man game. Now it does it does work. You, you can see. Just kill me. I'm trying to demonstrate it. Here we go. But yeah, the game works. It's a pretty nice, cool game. For two, for two bucks, I was like, yeah, I'll take it. So I'm driving. As I'm driving, see a sign, yard sale. <clears throat> so, of course, I stopped by. Actually, I stopped by a few. I literally today went to 25 garage sales. And what I mean, we didn't find nothing. Me and my kid, we really didn't find anything. I found some clothes for him, which I needed. But... <clears throat> I did, this lady comes up with a bag. See, I saw a toy bin. Once again, if you see a toy bin, you got to dig deep. She's like, here's here's a bag. Put it, everything you want in it for a dollar. I was like, that's cool. So I put a little various toys and stuff. And when I got out, I'm about to leave. She's like, you know what? Put, put this in there also. I didn't really see it. Transformers animated Voyager bulkhead. He's missing his... Uh, Headmaster, I think it's called. But still, it's a pretty nice figure. It goes with a bunch of other figures I'm going to put on eBay. And last is Transformers G1 Switch Shot. A quick switch. I'm here to finish here, broken, of course. But this figure here goes for about 20 to 40 bucks on eBay. Um, it's, it's only missing two guns, two barrel guns. But that's about it. It's a six changer. I was very shocked to pick this up. I knew it was was a transformer, like a G1, but I didn't really know what 
kind, like a six changer or a head mask master. I just picked it up. So it's cool to add to the collection. Um, transform it real quick. Robot mode. It's not really a pop a, a popular uh, character. Because it really does doesn't look that good. I mean the different version vehicles or modes. It has like the six shot excellent toy, but this one it's kind of like second hand. Here we, here we go. So that's cool. Just got to get the guns for him, and he's complete. But to get him with that bag for a dollar is, well, I guess my name is Dollar Tron, Dollar Cron. Or, that's cool. Here we, here we go. Okay. Last, I went to the store. Out of is out of is out of town. <clears throat> Seen it all the time. It's like an antique store. So I finally decided to stop by doing nothing. So it turns out to be this. I saw an episode of Game Chase. So they went to this antique store. Very, very nice. We had games and toys and stuff. So it was similar to it. I wish I brought, I, I brought my camera, but I'm going to bring it next time. And uh, the lady had old glasses, toys. Everything you want to imagine is in there. She knows the price. The lady's not stupid. The lady's a dealer. But she has some like Game Boy games, whatever, which I want, but they're five bucks each. So I was bringing enough. I was expecting a dollar for them. I'm looking, looking around. She lets me look around, <clears throat> and uh, for five dollars, I got something big. But uh, this, uh, I guess, is a McDonald's Game Boy, Nintendo Game Boy, and it has this little cartridge for Pokemon. Made in 2000, so I guess it's a Pokemon Game Boy toy. This I remember these Su Super Mario 3 figure. I re remember these when they came out when I was a kid. And I see my collections in Green January with, with one. So I was like, wow, I found one. This cool Mario. Missing his hat. That hat must psh, must be made of like velvet or the cloth like like his uh clothes. Because I was expecting his hat to, to be on him. At least I know his hat's very, uh, it was holy or some, something she said. So I figured it was made out, out of cloth and not out of the plastic like his head. So that's why you can't really find the hat. But yeah, that's cool. Got this cool little Mario. Got in a collection. It was funny. He was just looking at, at, at me like this. Straight in my eyes. And I was like, hey, Mario. So, all right. <clears throat> Today's Saturday, of course. I'm going to see Harold and Kumar 3. So, uh. I'm leaving about half hour. Gonna enjoy it. I like Harold, Harold, Harold and Kumar. The films are good. All right, so I'll see you guys tomorrow, and uh, wish me luck on a better day. I guess it's a pretty decent day, but all right, bye. What's up, guys? Brolicon just left the flea market. Um, only found one thing really. A couple movies for somebody I got, but um. For three dollars, uh, Resident Evil Four, the GameCube disc are clean with the manual and everything. That's a great price. So that's uh, Sunday. Oh, by the way, Harold and Kumar movie movie was pretty. It's pretty good. I still I still enjoy the first one. Nothing beats that one. So uh, see what else I get today if I do go out. But all right. What's up, guys? I'm at Goodwill. Found Killer Instinct, and Black Base, Purple Nintendo Six, Super Nintendo controllers. I might get them, but I'm not sure.